This video is going to be focusing on the stalker and to start off with we're going to get straight into the general comment for the creature in its starter log entry which describes it as A streamlined predator encountered in the kelp forests in weight of prey leaving the safety of shallows to feed. The stalker likely carved out its evolutionary niche at the sweet spot between speed and size millions of years ago and may be one of the oldest species on the planet. The stalker appears to be attracted to titanium deposits which tend to sharpen and put stress on its teeth. When picking up these pieces of metal it is sometimes possible for the stalker to drop one of its teeth which can be useful to the player. There are also an additional four points in the entry itself which I will go over and if there is any additional information that I can find I will include it. Teeth. The stalker's teeth are unusually hard and fast growing. Its elongated snout can deliver huge biting pressure to larger attackers while also being used to reach small herbivores seeking refuge amongst the rocks. Night vision. Retinal layering on the eyeballs suggests adaptation for nighttime hunting. Dorsal ridges. These ridges can be moved independently to deliver superior maneuverability. Pelvic fins. Long and powerful, the stalker has evolved to hunt the fastest prey. As well as this, there is a little bit more information that wasn't included in this starter log entry, which includes Stalkers are one of the three creatures of Planet 4546b, at least in this region, that are not bioluminescent, making them more difficult to spot during the night. As well as this, overnight the stalker tends to become more aggressive towards the player as well as other creatures so it is probably best if you keep your distance during this time. Stalkers tend to chase peepers in order to make them a meal. However, if a stalker spots the player nearby then they will attempt to attack them as they launch from their hiding places between the creep vines. As part of their love for varying metal types, stalkers will also take camera drones that the player has set up, carrying them back to their nests. When this is happening, you will not be able to use this particular drone. Also, if you drop any ores or metals near a stalker, then they tend to snatch them up as quickly as possible in order to add them to their collection. It is not uncommon to find stalkers lurking around and protecting their eggs, attacking anyone or anything that attempts to get close to their prized possessions. Although you may not want to get close to a stalker after hearing all of this information, I'm here to also tell you that there is actually a way that you can make a stalker passive for a short while and even get it to perform a few actions for you. You can do this by feeding it any kind of catchable fish, preferably a peeper, otherwise they will hesitate, or by giving it metal salvage. During this time of passiveness, the stalker will be peaceful towards you as well as trying to give gifts to the player in the form of nearby metal salvage that they have gone searching for, picked up and brought back just for you. If you want, you can keep repeating this process for as long as you want. Alternatively, you can take the egg of a stalker and put it in an alien containment tank in order for it to hatch, where when it does, the stalker will be passive, however will still steal cameras and attack any of the player's vehicles. And this point is a bit of a spoiler and that is that the stalkers that can be found in the primary containment facilities aquarium are not hostile towards the player at all when you approach them. The stalker can spawn in four different biomes including the crash zone, kelp forest, kelp forest caves and one that I said before that is a bit of a story spoiler, the primary containment facility aquarium. Also if you put a stalker or a stalker egg into the bioreactor then it will produce 560 and 105 energy respectively. The overall assessment for this creature as seen in the data log entry, stalker teeth may have applications in enameled glass fabrication. If you enjoyed this video then make sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification icon if you never want to miss another upload from Project Archivist. If you want to support the channel then you can do so by becoming a channel member through the join button on the channel homepage. There is also a link in the description. And with that, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.